It literally looks like I'm in a library. <laughs> I've never seen so many books in one shot. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to another monthly TBR video. Feels like it's been a while since I've done this because I think the last one that I did was for August. So I'm really excited to be back doing another choosing my TBR for the month. I feel like it's been a while since I did TBR cards choose my TBR so I thought we'd bring it back with my little TBR cards that I've got here because I love a good TBR prompt and these are literally perfect for that and I thought for this month we're gonna choose seven in total. I have so many books on my TBR right now that I'm so excited to read so hopefully we can get some of them on the TBR for October. It's of course spooky season so some thrillers would be good on there to you know set the vibe. There are a couple books that I don't actually have yet that I kind of want to get in October to kind of get me into the spirit of the spooky vibes. That's why we're only choosing seven this time. So we have my little TBR cards. Let's give them a shuffle and pick seven at random. Okay. I'm going to go for the top one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put these back in the little box. And then we have our seven TBR prompts. Okay, let's give these a little shuffle. As always, I'm going to let you read it first. I'm going to let you do the honours. Choose a book which has become a TV show or movie. Ooh, okay. I'm going to gather some options and then I'll show you the options we have and we'll choose the one that we're going to pick together. I think we actually only have two options for this one. We have Daisy Jones and the Six, which is a TV show. And I'm so intrigued by this one because it's all set up in interview form. Like the whole book is just one big interview. <laughs> and I've never read a book like that. So I think that would be really interesting. And I do really want to read this at some point. But then we also have Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, which I believe is a TV show as well. I've been wanting to read this for the longest time. It just sounds like different to anything that I've read so far. And it's kind of like psychological thriller but with different alternate reality type vibe and it just sounds so interesting so I think out of these two I'm more nearing dark matter I think it just sounds so interesting and I've been really really looking forward to reading this so we're gonna go for dark matter and then after I've read it I really want to watch the tv show for it as well prompt to choose a book which alternates narrators or timelines okay I feel like I have quite a few options for this freedom at Fadden nearly always does this. So we have The Perfect Sound which has different narrators and then I'm pretty sure Powerless by Elsie Silva will do that as well. So we have different narrators for this one. What else? Okay we have Let's Split Up by Bill Wood which this is a new release. First of all can we just appreciate the sprayed edges? I'm literally obsessed and this is really giving spooky season vibes and I think it would be perfect to read this month because it's kind of giving borderline horror so I think it makes sense to pick this one. That makes me really excited because I only got this recently and ever since I got it I've been so looking forward to reading it and I was really hoping to read it in October. So I think we're gonna pick this one. Next prompt, choose a book which has a person's name in the title. Let me gather some options. <laughs> okay, I only have one option from my TBR cart, but I do have a pile of books back here, which are books that I've been putting off. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a quick look and see if there's anything back here. Okay, we have two options. Again, we have Daisy Jones and Six because Daisy Jones. And then we have Frankenstein, I know, jump scare. This cover, <laughs> This cover gets me every time. It's a literal jump scare. <laughs> but this is a classic and I'm yet to properly get into the classics and I think Frankenstein would be perfect for Halloween time surely because it's kind of like creepy vibes maybe. A gothic tale. See? Perfect. Perfect. I think we're gonna go for Frankenstein with this jump scare of a cover. <laughs> wow we're really getting the spooky October Halloween vibes going, which I'm here for. We might need to put some romance on there as well though. <laughs> Prompt four, choose a book which has a dedication to mum. I feel like there's quite a few for this one because I've had this prompt before and I remember there being so many. Okay, I found two options. First up we have The Mother by T.M. Logan, which is a psychological thriller. This has been on my TBR since last Christmas, I think, and I've been really wanting to get around to this one, but I was waiting for it to get more sort of awe to me because this book just, gives me autumn vibes. I don't know what it is about it. But this one is dedicated to For My Mother Vera With Love. So that one's dedication to mum. And then we also have Mile High, which is chunky. <laughs> chunky. And this one says to my mum for being the most loving woman I know. I wish every girl could have a mum like you. That's really cute. So we have Mile High as well. I really don't know. 
I really don't know. I feel like purely based on the fact that this is called The Mother and it's also dedicated to a mother. I feel like that's like double the prompt. <laughs> so I feel like it makes sense for us to pick this one. But I do really want to read this. Maybe we can choose this for another prompt. We'll see. Okay, we have three prompts left. Next one, I'm gonna let you read first. Choose a book written by a male author. Do you know what? I actually feel like there wouldn't be that many. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that's, I think JP Delaney's a male author. Let me double check for that. I have three options and they're all thrillers. First one we have is The Perfect Wife by JP Delaney. And then we have The Maidens by Alex. I never know how to say his last name, <laughs> but there it is. <laughs> It's the same author that wrote The Silent Patient, which I absolutely love. That was one of the books that got me into reading. I think this is like a dark academia psychological thriller. And then we have In a House of Lies by Ian Rankin with a sticker that literally won't come off. So let's just ignore that. This one I think is like a murder mystery type thriller following a private investigator. I think out of all these, the one that's giving me the most October kind of vibes it's probably the maidens because i don't know what it is about dark academia but that just is giving spooky season <laughs> and i don't think i actually have any more dark academia books on my tbr so i feel like this would be perfect to read in october so we're gonna go for the maidens and also since i read the silent patient i've been really wanting to read other books by the author so i feel like it's time to read the maidens next prompt choose a book which has a one word title Ooh. okay we have powerless by elsie silver that is a potential. I don't actually have that many with just one word. Let's have a look on the back. I have two options for this. We have Powerless by Elsa Silver, which is the third one in the Chestnut Springs series. And you guys know how much I've been wanting to read the next one in the series. I've been so looking forward to it, but I just keep putting it off and I don't know why. And then we also have Lockdown by Maria Franklin, which this is kind of giving Freedom of Adam vibes. It's a psychological thriller that is basically focused around the national lockdown. I think it follows a couple kind of stuck in this house together. And I've been really intrigued to see what this one's like. I think purely based on how many thrillers we have on my TBR already. And just because I've been so looking forward to reading this specific one in the Chestnut Springs series, I think we're gonna go for Powerless by Elsie Silver. I feel like I'm gonna need some romance in between the thrillers and I feel like this would be perfect. So we're gonna go for this one. Okay, on to our last prompt. Choose a book which has five words in the title. Oh, this is kind of similar to the one word one. <laughs> five words, okay. There's a lot of four worded ones, but not a lot of five. <laughs> I actually only have two options for this. We have Somebody I Used to Love by Eve Ainsworth. This one I feel like is a second chance kind of romance. This one follows Will who wakes up after a car accident and he's lost three years of memory and he keeps asking for his childhood sweetheart who he's not with anymore but he keeps asking for her and I think they had a bad sort of breakup. So we have this one. This one sounds so interesting honestly and I love a romance with a bit of a twist to it as well. And then we have The Widow's Husband's Secret Life. <laughs> That is such a mouthful. And this one is a Freedom of Fadden novella, a satirical novella. And I just feel like it's going to be so much fun. I feel like it's kind of giving horror thriller vibe. Even just from the cover. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I've heard so much about this recently because I think this is a recent release and people say that it's really, really funny and it's just a good time. So I think out of these two, I'm going to go for this one just because it's giving more horror thriller vibe. And there are all the TBR prompts. Let's just run through the ones that we ended up picking. We have so many thrillers on here, which I'm kind of here for because I feel like throughout summer I was reading nothing but romance a lot of the time. So it's kind of nice to switch it up a bit. And I'm a thriller girly at heart. So this excites me. First one that we chose was Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Then we have Let's Split Up by Bill Wood. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. This one scares me. <laughs> intimidates me but we'll see how it goes then we have the mother by tm logan the maidens by alex can't pronounce his last name <laughs> powerless by elsie silver and the widow's husband's secret light by freedom at Fadden. i actually think that's quite a good october tbr i'm excited about this and i'm going to be filming lots of reading vlogs and just cozy october vibe vlogs this month as well so definitely stay tuned for that because i will be talking about a lot of these books in them thank you so so much for watching this video and helping me choose my tbr and i will hopefully see you in my next one